Hey everyone, and welcome to a Jersey ranking video. Now I've done lots of these in the past. In fact, I did one earlier this week. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It was the NHL color rush version from Eric. And uh, man, that was an, had an awesome time ranking those. He had some amazing designs. And in this video, I'm gonna rank someone else's Jersey designs. Uh, these are kind of like an NHL refresh. And these are by Lucas. And uh, there's not 31 teams here, if you can't tell from the thumbnail and the title. There's 32 teams. He kind of threw in Seattle, which is kind of awesome. And he wanted me to mention something real quick before I, I, I got started to, because there are, some of these jersey designs are pretty radical, and he's he's kind of taken some of the original six teams and done some drastic things. So he wanted me to, to mention that uh, he, he decided to take those untouchable teams and kind of you know, just come up with something completely new based on the name and, and the city and stuff. And for the non-untouchable teams or the regular teams, he just kind of used some of the elements that they already had and the, but just kind of give it, tried to give it a little bit of a refresh. So, you know, don't be too offended if, you, if you're a fan of an original six team like I am, Montreal Canadiens, and you see this radical design. Like, you don't have to be offended. Like, just, if you're, you don't have to like it, but you don't have to be offensive or offended by it. It's not a big deal. It's all subjective. And this entire ranking is completely subjective. There is no right or wrong. If you did this ranking, it would be completely different than mine. I can almost guarantee it. But let's have some fun here. Like I said, I've ranked these 1 to 32, or I'm going to go through them 32 to 1, my least favorite to favorite, like I always do. Give some criticism. Give some props where props are due. Let's get it. Okay, so in 32nd position, I have, that sounds weird to rank an NHL team in 32nd position. I'm not used to that 32 number yet. So in 32, or in 32nd position, I have the Florida Panthers. So I actually quite like the white jersey. I'm, I'm, I really like that white stripe behind the current logo on the white jersey of the Florida Panthers, but it, I don't mind that it's been removed here. It actually looks pretty good as far as a white jersey. I like the coloration and the stripes. It matches the logo. But the logo that he created here, just personally, I, f I think it looks like a beach ball a little bit with a cat head on it. And every time I look at it, it just it feels awkward seeing the cat head on, I think, just a ball because I'm we're used to seeing a cat head on a body. So to see that cat head kind of come out of a ball or obviously it's a sun, but it, it looks it just looks a little a little odd. And I should mention also um, uh, Lucas provided an explanation to all of his his designs on his on the his uh adobe website so if you guys want to go check that out i'll link it down below and you guys should really go check it out uh, because the explanations are important with some of these i'm not going to read them for all of them because this video would be 50 minutes long and i don't want that but uh, i'll link all of his social media and uh, portfolio links down below and i'll put it on the screen as well at some point in this video and thank you lucas for allowing me to do this okay in 31st position i have the st louis blues I like the color, the color combination here. That the blue looks a, just a tad different than the current blue that they use. Uh, the stripe, I'm okay with the stripes, but the logo itself, it, it it's clever because it takes the the note and the arc of in um, St. Louis, puts them together. I'm totally fine with that, but it looks it kind of looks like a headphones logo or a I don't know what the Beats logo looks looks like, but I feel like I've seen. A headphone brand use a very similar logo and that's all I can see um, I, I don't even see the blues I don't even see the you know the arc I just see a headphone a headphone logo and that's really why they're so low in 30th position I have the Nashville Predators and there's some really interesting even though it's ranked low there's some really interesting elements here that I that I quite like the lines in the in the back of the numbers in in the middle i really like that a lot i even like the stripes around the rest of the jersey um but the logo itself again i kind of come back to the logo it, it feels a little bit too squished in um and i i just prefer the current one more so let's move on number 29th i have the carolina hurricanes so like he said in some of these non-untouchable teams or regular teams he take it elements and just kind of giving them a little bit of a refresh. And I can definitely see that here. You can see the pattern along the bottom that's uh, pretty much tradition at this point from in Carolina jerseys. And you can see it in the stripes and the arms. So I, I like that. Uh, continue with the same basic color combination, but the logo's different. A combination between the current logo, which is the, the eye or the storm or whatever, uh, with their new kind of warning flag on their third jersey or their alternate jersey. So the, like, the combination actually isn't, isn't too bad, but I think it's, I don't know if it's the highlight along the left or if it's, it. I just find it a bit distracting or maybe it's a bit too big or something, um, but I don't dislike it. I think I just prefer that third or that secondary logo that they use now uh, more. In 28th is the Dallas Stars. 
and I'm a big fan of the current Dallas Stars logo, as you regular viewers uh, will know. So anytime a new Dallas Stars uh, rendering or New Jersey kind of comes in the mix, I'm pretty critical of it. And uh, this one is ranked low, ma mainly because of that. You can see kind of like the spur in the background of the D, which also makes the star, which, you know, it makes sense. I just prefer the current logo. What I do like about this is the secondary logo that he's created, and it's got that little bit of a grunge at the top. I, I actually quite like that. In 27th, we see the San Jose Sharks. So kind of a big change here. I, I feel like the, the teal is a little bit different color. Uh, it's, I'm not used to seeing no orange at all in, in the San Jose Sharks a, a uniform or regular dark or regular white uniform. It, it, it is strange. I don't really dislike it. It's just, I, I kind of, I kind of miss it a little bit. Now the logos changed quite significantly. You have the shark going at the opposite angle, which is also strange for me to see. And, um, it, it's, it's not too bad. I just really prefer that current, uh, black alternate Jersey that they have now. In 26th position, I ranked the Boston Bruins, and this is completely strictly on logo. I, I quite like that logo that's been created as a patch. I think that would look absolutely incredible, but it kind of just looks out of place on the jersey. I think it's a little bit too square. If I had some elements coming off of the left or off of the top, I think that would kind of break up the squareness a little bit. That's, that's really the only reason. Other than that, I really like that logo a lot. In 25th, I have the, the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, this makes sense. You have the kind of neon light effect going on with the logo. It's it's very clever. I, I do like it. I like that white jersey a lot, uh, even more than that black jersey. But uh, if you play guitar, then you'll know that that shape of the logo kind of looks like a guitar pick. And that's all I can see now that I, like now that I've seen that and said, OK, well, that actually looks like a guitar pick. That's every time I look at it, I just see guitar pick. In 24th uh, position is the Pittsburgh Penguins. And this is actually an extremely clever design and major props for the cleverness here because you have that bridge uh, texture kind of coming around the logo and also the striping, which is extremely unique. I think that's awesome because Pittsburgh is a city with a lot of bridges. It completely makes sense. And the logo is a little bit less cartoony. Obviously, it's still a drawing of a penguin, but it's a little bit more serious and it kind of has a scarf kind of coming back. Uh, out. I, I quite like this, but I think it would it would wear on me. And that's the reason why I ranked it uh, as low as I did in 24th. I, I, I think it's a little bit too busy. It's a little, I think it would, over time, it would be hard to look at long term. So that's really the only reason. But up front, right away, awesome creativity. And 23rd, I have the New York Rangers. This is a really interesting design because you're keeping the same colors. You're keeping the general kind of crest outline that they currently have. The top's a little bit different, but you still get that blue stripe that kind of goes through. But then you're bringing elements in from that jersey from the 90s that we love with the, um, the, the Statue of Liberty head and then the torch. And then you've got the R there that kind of looks like a flame, but also makes, you know, the letter R. I really, really like it. But... And I don't know if anyone else is going to look at this and think what I'm about to say. But when I see this and I see the R and I see those colors, I think Russia. And I know R stands for Rangers, but the Russian flag shares these exact same colors. I just get a real Russian vibe from this. And I, th I think it's just the R and the colors. And it's not his fault. It's just once I see something, I find it really hard to unsee. In 22nd position, I have the Montreal Canadiens. And that white jersey, I love that white jersey. Not specifically the logo. I'll talk about that in a second. But the way that he has the the coloring on the arms, and we've seen this in some other teams around the league currently, but to see it on a Montreal Canadiens white jersey with just this block of red here but with the numbers on it, I absolutely love that. I wish the Montreal Canadiens would implement something like this. That is just... As far as everything else but the logo here, I, I, I honestly love that white jersey. I wish that they would use it. And as, as the logo goes, it's kind of cool to see something completely new to represent the Montreal Canadiens. I don't necessarily like it more than what they currently have. And I'm, I'm not really a fan of what they currently have either. But it's, I find it a little bit busy or it's a little bit too stylized or something. Uh, I understand the relation. I understand the reason of, of the elements in the logo. But it, it almost looks like an insect or a butterfly or something, just because I think just like the, the way that the, the M makes the wings or something. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's not bad by any means. In 21st position, I have the New York Islanders. We see a, a little bit more of a, a deeper ocean blue being used here, which I like. I think that looks really good with the white and the orange. 
and uh, a completely new logo, which is very simple, but very clever. You can see the N in there. You can see the Y in there. You can see that anchor and you can see the lighthouse. So taking a lot of elements, uh, Lucas really did a, a, a good job using a lot of the elements from previous Islanders designs and logos and tertiary logos, and secondary logos and all that stuff. So uh, good job, Lucas. Uh, in 20th position at the Vancouver Canucks and you get that V, that classic V, but you get that textured almost, it's not kilt, so I, I can't think of the right word to use, but you get that textured in the V. I quite, I, I, I quite like it as a third jersey. I don't know if I'd pick it as a primary jersey. Um, the, all the colors and the striping are, I mean, the colors are basically the same. I like the green around the collar on the dark jersey, and the striping is a little bit different, obviously, but it's, it's quite similar, and I do prefer it more on the dark jersey. In 19th position, and I think a lot of Toronto Maple Leafs fans may have kind of an either I'd love it or I hate it kind of vibe here. Let me know down in the comments, Toronto Maple Leafs fans, what you feel about this one. As a Canadians fan, I know I'm wearing Minnesota, but I'm a Canadians fan. Uh, I quite like this. And I feel like if I was a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, I wouldn't. But as a Canadians fan and seeing something new from Toronto, I, 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 I quite like this a lot. And it's, I mean, it makes sense. The CN Tower, which is an icon of Canada, not, or let alone Toronto. So it, that completely makes sense that it's in the logo. It retains the shape of the current logo or the outline of the current logo that they're using other than the bottom. And then you have this kind of swoop that comes across the CN Tower and it makes a T, T for Toronto. It, it looks good. And it looks good uh, if you invert the colors, which he's done on, depending on the jersey. It works. It, it, it just works. So I quite like this. In 18th position, we have the Minnesota Wild. Um, so obviously a, a different radical design here. And I do I do like it. The negative space of the M uh, is the trees, which is very clever. You get the, the moon in there or the sun or whatever that is that's on the current uh, logo. And you, you retain the same colors, like I said. Uh, the striping, I'm okay with the striping. I find that tail or the, the, the arrow that kind of points up quite distracting. And when I just first glance at it, it kind of, it looks like a Mountain Dew logo or something or a, a soda logo. I, I, I don't mean that to be offensive. I just I just kind of get that vibe. I think maybe the colors are, are playing a little bit there for me. Uh, in 17th position, I have the Philadelphia Flyers. I love the stripes. It's kind of like this old school kind of jail striping a little bit going on the arms in the bottom. I like that a lot. The, the P for Philadelphia, Looks pretty good. You got this kind of like wings or or uh, feathers or something coming off of it. And then you've got that bell in the, in the middle, which makes up the negative space of the circle of the P, uh, which completely makes sense for Philadelphia. I like this a lot. Good job, Lucas. Number 16, I have the Washington Capitals. So right away, we, we have removal of the current Capitals logo, which I dislike a lot, as you guys know. And uh, we have something new in there, which is Take, again, taking elements from a different jersey design and different logos within the organization. So really clever here, uh, a wonderful job. This looks very, um, I don't wanna say army, I was gonna say forces, I guess. It looks quite y uniform or something. I, I don't know, it doesn't, I don't get hockey vibes from this jersey. I, I, that's not to say I don't like it. I do like it. I like the differentiation of the stripes, the new striping on a, on a Washington Capitals jersey. We don't really see that. So I, I do like it. It just I just don't get hockey from it. I don't know why. And 15th, I have the Tampa Bay Lightning. And again, taking elements from different uh, logos and, and, and jerseys in the past. It's kind of a mixture of their current jersey with their original jersey. It's kind of a, a a mixing of both and I, I do like that because I'm not a fan of the current uh, Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. You get another color element in there instead of the blue and the white that we just have now you get that throwback to the gray which they initially had um, in the early days in some of their jerseys so I do like it. In 14th position I have the Calgary Flames and this is a, quite a radical redesign here. The striping is different, the logo is different, uh, the white jersey looks, I get that retro vibe from it, which I like. I love the striping, the change in direction, that just that change. I, I, I like that a lot. The logo itself, I find a bit distracting. I can kind of see the A in there for the original Atlanta Flames. And I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me, but I see an A. I don't really see, I see an A more than I see a C. And I think if, you know, if you're the Calgary Flames, it could probably look more like a C. And if, I'm sure there's someone out there that's like, uh, I don't even see an A, I completely see a C. My mind just, I don't know, I see an A. 
In 13th, I have the Edmonton Oilers. I love the the arms on this, the the striping with the, that oil drop on there. I think that's fantastic. It's really cool to see the numbers on the shoulder. I, I feel like hardcore Edmonton Oilers fans are going to maybe not like that logo, but it's really clever. And you have the cog that makes the E for Edmonton um, and, and is part of the that oil drip. It's quite nice. I like it. Uh, number 12, I have the Los Angeles Kings. Absolutely love this this uh, jersey and this logo design, this whole uniform. It would probably be my top five except for one little element. But the things that I do like about it, I love the logo. I love the, the purple color and I love the striping. The thing I don't like about it is that little bit of a the crown top on the striping itself. It, it kind of looks, it reminds me of like a birthday cake or I don't know, it looks a little too cartoony or something. And number 11th, I have the, uh, I almost said Carolina Hurricanes, <laughs> Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, love the striping here. It's very uh, uniform, again, kind of like the Washington Capitals one. I love that. Love the deeper of the blue color that they're using or that he's using here. And you get the cannon, and you also get, like, one of the stars down below. Great job, Lucas. Number 10, I have the Anaheim uh, Ducks. I really like both of these jerseys, the white and the dark. Uh, I love the purple being the prime color here and the a different uh, Anaheim Ducks logo, which, I mean, it, you can see the A of the outline of the actual thing, but you can see another A in there, and it also looks like a duck foot, so it's very clever. The thing that I find a little bit distracting, though, is that it kind of looks like a road. Like, if you're looking down a road, the line's on the road. Maybe it's just, again, my mind doing silly tricks on me, but that's what I see. And number nine, I have the Phoenix, or the Phoenix Coyotes, oh my god, the Arizona Coyotes, and uh I, some interesting elements here that they're not using he's not using the the kind of throwback kachina style striping he has something that's similar but new uh, a new logo which i prefer than to the current one um i prefer the dark jersey here and no yeah no real complaints for this one number eight and i think this is going to cause a lot of controversy but i quite like it the detroit red wings and like these two jerseys is the way that the stripes are done it's so uniform and again kind of like with the montreal canadians jersey you have that kind of patch along the arm where the numbers go it, i i i to be honest i absolutely love both of these jerseys now the logo itself i'm i'm okay with it, it looks very retro almost like 50s diner style logo or, or kind of like an emblem on a car or something which i'm okay with i don't hate it by any means i think a lot of detroit fans may not like that element of of this jersey though or of this uniform number seven i have the winnipeg jets and how oh man i love the shoulders how they come down and then split into white a little, a little white stripe and then go back to a red um, i love that dark jersey it's a kind of a throwback again i, I say that word a lot but it's it's paying homage to a previous jersey, and I, lo I love that. Not a huge fan of the logo itself, but it's very clever. You get the W in there for Winnipeg. You also get the plane in there. So it, it, it totally makes sense. Um, I, I just love the arms on this jersey. I think it's absolutely perfect. Number six, I have the Chicago Blackhawks. And this, I get a real college kind of vibe from this because you get that big C letter. A lot of colleges, you just use like the letter. Um, so you get the C in there for Chicago. But you also get the elements of those feathers on there, which look great. And he's using striping along the shoulders coming this way, which, again, kind of looks like a college football jersey or something. I really like this. Number five, like I said, Seattle was in this video, and he just, he's done or he's gone with the Seattle sockeye. And I quite like the color combination here. Just that hint of like a desaturated sky blue. And with, the, with that combination with the black and the red, it looks fantastic. I, I, I like the logo a, a lot. I like the secondary logo. Um, yeah, just, just really well done. Number four, the Colorado Avalanche. And I mean, I think Colorado jerseys in general are always going to be quite high on my list just because I love that A, anything to do with that A design. And I will say that the kind of circle that kind of comes around the A He's taken elements from the current logo and kind of implemented them into this one. If I have a complaint, it would be that it reminds me a little bit of like the Jetsons or Futurama or something, just that kind of circle going around like a, orbiting a globe or something. But it, I'm being really, really nitpicky here. Number three, the Ottawa Senators. And when I'm trying to do these, I'm thinking, what needs to be changed on their current jersey to make it what most of the fans want or what I see a lot of people online uh, wanting and this is an example of this i think a lot of ottawa senators fans or hockey fans in general want to move away from that current style logo or even the previous style and kind of 
they pay homage to some of their history, which is this, oh, which the Ottawa Senators have done in, in secondary and in, in, uh, alternate um, jerseys. But this one here is fantastic. You get that almost off-white color in the dark jersey, which is phenomenal. It's also a throwback to one of the one of their previous jerseys, which is great. So I quite like this. I love that white jersey. That is a phenomenal white jersey. That's one of the nicest white jerseys concepts I've ever seen in my life. Um, just an uh, incredible job, Lucas. Number two, the New Jersey Devils. And, and again, kind of thinking about what needs to change on the current jerseys to make it perfect. I think this is a perfect design. The overall design of the jersey has not really changed from the current one that's that New Jersey uses, but the logo has changed, and it's such a subtle change, but it's a perfect change. It looks so good. I absolutely love this jersey. Lucas, you completely nailed it here. Well done. And, and first overall, I have the Buffalo Sabres, probably the first time I've ever ranked uh, Buffalo first, kind of like in the last video when I ranked, I don't, I don't want to ruin it in case you haven't seen that video, but I ranked a team for the first time first. Um in Monday's video. I think it was Monday I released it. Uh, so, Buffalo Sabres here, again with the third and second place, taking a jersey that is currently being used, for the most part, obviously it's a little bit different, but taking a jersey that looks, I think, looks pretty good, and I think the majority of Buffalo fans think look pretty good, but adding an, an element that needs fixed, and I think that's the logo. I'm personally not a huge fan of the current logo that they use, which is a, kind of a throwback, or to, to pay homage to one of their original logos. And, but this is a very modern design of a logo. It looks good. It's in kind of a crest. You still get the sabers in there. You get the buffalo. It has motion to it a little bit. It look, kind of looks like he's coming through. It, it contrasts well with the rest of the jersey. I think it's a really, really good design. Uh, Lucas did a fantastic uh, job designing these. And specifically, probably the top three, I just, I, I'm in love with completely. So Lucas, awesome job. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave your maybe top five or bottom five or whatever you want to do down below in the comment section. Tell me why you think I'm wrong, even though there's no, no wrong or right. Uh, tell me what maybe why you disagree with some of my rankings and feel free to make yours uh, down below in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I, the best thing you can do to help me is go down, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon and select all so you're notified of all of my uploads. Um, that is the absolute biggest help. And if you did like this video, please hit the like button, share it around. And I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you're staying safe, and I'll catch you in the next ranking video. And don't forget to check out Lucas's links down below. Check out the rest of his work on Twitter and on his Adobe profile. So, Lucas, thank you so much again for allowing me to uh, rank your artwork. You did an awesome job on, on all of these, really, even the ones that were ranked low. I mean, just a really good job. I couldn't do any of this, so uh, well done, Lucas. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Wow.